here's the contents of my 72 hour bag or uh, in slang terms the bug out bag um, this is sort of a, a kit designed for mobility so some things are, um, uh, are probably missing from what a lot of you would consider a survival bag but this is so that um, you're not going 72 hours into the wilderness and then trying to survive beyond that this is really maybe this is more like a get home bag or a uh, uh, you know a situation where you're gonna bug out and then return to your to your uh, home base or homestead or wherever you are where you you know where the rest of your supplies are so the bare essentials is what you're seeing here um, let me just go ahead and go through these from uh, the various different types of supplies uh, obviously first of all I have I put a small blade in here one that I can just keep in my pocket and also a bigger blade this one is the uh, the cold steel kukri machete uh, cho I chose this one because it's large and lightweight so it doesn't uh, slow you down and it's versatile um, let's move on to uh, protection right so you can use this to kinda protect yourself against um, you know, maybe some two-legged mammals, two-legged predators, or even four-legged predators, and obviously a firearm. This is the Ruger LC9. There is a round in the chamber, but it's not a real round. Snap cap. Um, then illumination. I keep two flashlights. One that you wear uh, around your head so your hands can be free so if you're uh, hiking through the night or if you're doing some work around wherever you're sitting camp for the evening if you happen to be outdoors that's nice to have this has uh, several different modes has LEDs on the bottom three of them there's also two red LEDs it can be on flashing mode this this way you have uh, preserve your night vision and then also there's uh, three levels of this uh, brighter uh, LED bulb on top and I use uh, AA batteries, rechargeable AA batteries which comes in handy and I'll show you why in a second and next I have this um, this is just the light that I grabbed real quick it's not necessarily what I would bring this is just a little uh, weapon, weapon light mount it's not necessarily what I would bring in this kit because it is a little bit bigger and it uses uh, CR123's um, but you know to illustrate another light source aside from this one just in case if this breaks you want to have something else as a backup so maybe one that's smaller that takes double A's uh, communications just a simple handheld uh, transceiver this is a uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter transceiver with a little stubby antenna I'll, I'm going to be able to hear every, anything from weather band uh, ham communications I can tune into FM stations I can tune into police uh, in most uh, municipalities uses uh, the uh, two meter or the 70 centimeter band and also you know fire EMT and what have you and um, great thing to have obviously um, this one is a rechargeable battery that I have on here but I would recommend going with a battery pack that lets you use uh, double A batteries and the reason for that is same with those uh, those flashlights is you want to be able to replenish that juice which is why I have this battery saver this is a solar battery charger it does take about 12 hours to fully charge a set of double uh, A batteries and you can charge four and store four really lightweight really simple and this way if you happen to be out in the field for the whole 72 hours and you run out of battery for either your communications device or your illumination device assuming they take common AA rechargeable batteries and you have them in there this is going to keep you topped off um, and uh, next let's go to uh, first aid just a quick trauma kit uh, this trauma kit is essential compared to a first aid kit, which is going to be things like band-aids and and uh, <coughs> um, painkillers and things like that. 
trauma is what you want to worry about when you're out hiking around and in a survival mode. Um, meaning that you're going to be able to close wounds. You're going to be able to, um, you know, uh, stitch up a, uh, a, a cut, um, split your uh, broken bone, things like that. And of course you can put uh, level one type first aid items in here as well. Things like medicine, which is, you're going to want some painkillers, antidiarrheal, uh, hydrocortisone, things like that for swelling and bug bites and, and uh, things like that. So a pack like that is nice to have. And obviously a roll of toilet paper. You know, you don't want to be out there and having to find poison oak leaves to wipe your, you know, what with. Um, I just use a little piece of wood that I found laying around and wrap some duct tape around it. Really nice to have uh, for repairs of your pack, of your shoes, of your clothing, uh, maybe of your shelter. A little bit of duct tape goes a long ways. Speaking of shelter, uh, emergency blanket. Again, this is for lightweight, all-weather jacket, in case if it starts raining and you just need another layer for uh, weather protection, that's great to have. And then uh, I don't carry, for a 72-hour for bag, I don't carry a, a ferrocene rod or anything like that. Flashlight, I mean not flashlight, uh, lighter. 72 hours, easiest way to start a fire. Yeah, it's not windproof, and uh, you know it's going to be difficult to uh, light a fire if you're in a really windy situation. But you know what? You got some gear. Gather around, make your kindling, make your little bird's nest, and light it with this. Easiest way to do it. You're only out 72 hours. You know you don't need a ferrocene rod that lasts you know 10,000 strikes. Again, lightweight. Okay, next let's go to food and water. Um, this canteen, you're gonna need more water than this. So really, this is just one that this is just a container. This signifies a water container that you want to have with you. Uh, this water container will carry uh, whatever water you're gonna be using at the moment, and you're gonna want some other way to be able to purify water because in 72 hours, you would use upwards of three gallons of water. So you know maybe a a, a filter straw or. A, you can always boil water and just filter, um, you know, through uh, a piece of fabric, right? So get the large particulates out and just boil your water. Um, but, you know, since it's a 72-hour kit, I'm, I don't have really a cooking set with me. So what you're going to want maybe are things like, you know, iodine tablets for killing the germs in uh, whatever water source you have. And then use this as a, as a vessel for the water you're going to be drinking. So again, this is not going to be enough, so I don't have it here with me, but I uh, have another water filtration system like a catadine or something like that. Food. Okay. Um, here's, a, uh, here's one of those uh, emergency uh, food sources that I made up. This is from, from one of my recipes. It's a slightly different one that I showed you before. This one has over 4,000 calories in this pack right here. So this alone should be enough calories for 72 hours. However, this is not going to sustain you um, nutritionally. It's only going to sustain you calorically. Okay. So to supplement that, I mean, I carry this because you know I'm carrying stuff for uh, possibly other people that might that might be with me. So being that this stuff, along with this uh, freeze dry mountain house stuff, is relatively light, I can carry kind of three packs of this mountain house stuff which is great really lightweight they're freeze dry and they actually taste really good they have no, they have more nutritional value <clears throat> but at the same time these will need water to to reconstitute you can't just eat this out of the bag like this whereas this uh, emergency ration you can eat right out of the bag and you know doesn't make you thirsty because these are uh, these have some moisture in it Whereas these will take, you know, to make all three bags of this will probably take all of this water. But what's nice about these bags, though, at least have one of these bags because these bags will make, uh, once you're done with uh, the food inside, they make a nice watertight container. So let's say you have to shuttle water from one source to another. You're going to scoop it up and maybe you're going to replenish your canteen. 
you know, once you're done with one of these mountain the house uh, freeze dry bags, they become nice little vessels. Okay, and all of that fits into just this simple surplus uh, military style rucksack. And uh, this doesn't hold a lot, and you can buy this pretty cheap. For about 25 bucks, you can find them online. And you know, these are just uh, retired military rucksacks from the, uh, from the army. And this one has seen some action. This one, I believe, was, was uh, overseas in either Iraq or Afghanistan. So all of that stuff that you see here tucks nicely into that bag and doesn't hardly weigh that much. So you can kind of haul this thing a fair distance from uh, where you uh, might get stuck and have to either get home or bug out. All right? That gives you an idea of what I have in my bug out bag or 72 hour bag. Thanks for watching.